Hey everybody, it's Jason again with Engineer Essentials. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about position and true position. Uh, more specifically, the differences between the two. Uh, they're kind of uh, two chapters of the same story. Um, a lot of people call this symbol true position, when in fact the ASME standard, uh, ASME Y14.5, calls it just position. Uh, true position is something, it's just a part of the position uh, control as a whole, and we'll get into that a little bit here. Um, but I want to outline why those two are different, because when we teach in our courses, we use the two terms very regularly, um, but again, they are different things. So first of all, I want you to think about a dartboard. Uh, when you're playing darts, you're shooting for the bullseye, right? The, the number one thing you want to do is get that dart to land right in the middle here. But obviously, sometimes you hit it, and sometimes you don't. Um, that's very similar to how position works. The position control itself is controlling the location of a feature. For this instance, it's controlling this inch and a half diameter hole uh, with a position tolerance of five thousandths. So what does that mean in terms of position and true position? Well, we would say the position is located exactly at two and a half inches from the left and two and a half inches from the bottom. If you're looking at this drawing here, that's locating our bullseye or our dartboard exactly at two and a half inches from the bottom and from the left. Now, if you were to throw your dart and hit dead center on the bullseye, your position of that hole would land exactly at its true position. That means you have zero deviation and you're well within that 5,000s position tolerance. So again, true position is going to be the exact perfect location shown on your drawing using basic dimensions. But what is position then? Well, we know that this measured axis or the dart we're throwing has to land somewhere on this part. We have to define how far away from the bullseye that that dart or this measured axis can hit. So how far off perfect or true position can that dart come? Well, that's where position comes in. Position tolerance or position will define the diametric tolerance zone in this instance for a hole how far away that measured axis can come from true position. Again, if we're using the dartboard method, that dart can only go so far away from the bullseye and still pass inspection. This measured axis can only come so far away from true position before it fails its position tolerance. By throwing in this position tolerance, we're able to lock in how far away that axis can be. But again, don't forget everything we're talking about here in GDT is a three dimensional measurement. So when we're throwing that dart, we're not looking at just one two dimensional location. As you can see here on this GIF, we're showing that that dart can come in at an angle to the dartboard and still have to lie within that entire diametric tolerance zone, so that blue cylinder you see here. So as long as that dart or the position of that cylinder, that measured axis, lands within the predefined position tolerance located at true position with basic dimensions back to the datum reference frame, that part will pass. Thanks again for tuning in today. Hopefully I clarified a little bit with the difference between true position and position. And like I said, I know most of the industry calls, calls this symbol true position and that's totally fine but you should know the difference between true position and the position tolerance because they are two different chapters of the same story just want to make sure that everybody knows what we're talking about when we reference true position in our course versus the position tolerance and if you still have any questions about uh, position or the position tolerance control we have lots of resources at our website i'll attach a couple links to a few other videos that discuss position and its benefits be sure to visit the website and check out any additional free resources. Uh, here you can test your knowledge with our print reading and GD&T quizzes, download helpful wall charts, and access articles written by our training experts.